everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on the new color pop truly mandy deeply palette now i believe this is an ulta exclusive this is how the packaging looks the shades are on the back here and let me go ahead and take it out and it looks exactly like how the box looks except for these letters are raised i don't know if you can really tell that they you can feel the letters um when you touch them so i really like that i think this is this packaging is one of the prettiest packaging from the ColourPop palettes that i have purchased recently now i know if well if you are new to my channel then first of all subscribe so you can see all of my life's watches but um this was not a palette that i, I hauled in my new ColourPop haul video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and put it on the little eye right here. But I did pick this up yesterday and I it's so new. Um, I think it's only been out for like about a week or two. So I wanted to hop on here and show you guys because this was the only one that was left at my Ulta and I'm assuming that they're selling out pretty fast because the shades in here are gorgeous. So let me go ahead and open it so you guys can see it. So it looks like this. It is so pretty. I think this is one of my favorite ColourPop palettes that I have purchased. I did already wear it today. So as you can see, this one has a little, you know, you can tell that it's been, you know, played with. I use this Golden Gate Bridge shade on my, in my crease. Well, like as a transition shade. And then I went in with... I believe lay low a little bit of cutouts and poodle and that was it oh and I used renegade here oh and sweet dreams I just can't really remember and I used sweet dreams as well but yeah so this does retail for $23 I did have a $10 off of 35 off of a $35 purchase coupon that someone um, nicely gave to me I, I don't know if she saw me on, I believe it was probably on Instagram on a, another page that I, you know, they were like giving codes up in the comments. So I asked for one and sh she was nice enough to send me her code. So I did use that on this purchase. So making it, well, I did purchase something else. So making it a little bit cheaper and yeah so let's go ahead and get into some swatch i can't pick this palette up as you can see i was struggling and the first shade that i'm gonna swatch is a matte and it is the shade called matter of fact i'm gonna try to start as high up as i can because there are a lot of shades again that is a matte shade the next shade is sweet dreams which i did use today and i loved it it is a shimmer. It's very pretty. The next shade is Blossom. Another shimmer. I'm going to try to swatch them as close together as possible so I have enough room. The next shade is a matte shade called Lay Low. The next shade is another matte, Golden Gate Bridge. I'm not swatching these as close as I wanted to, but the next shade is Hungry Ghost. And this is a glitter shade. I'm going to use another finger because I, just in case some glitter stays. And while I was in Ulta, that it's so pretty i didn't realize but I, this is a repeat shade this is a shade that is in the baby got peach palette so if you already have that palette and you don't want to duplicate this does come with another hungry ghost or if you do have that palette and you want to duplicate then it is in this palette the next shade is the shade renegade and i did use this one today and I thought it was beautiful. I don't know. Since it's glitter, it's kind of hard. I don't want to like mush it around. But it's kind of hard to pick it up. But that's what it looks like. It's 
group of pretty. I need to learn how to swatch more on this side so I don't feel like I'm... But that's what that looks like. The next shade is Cutouts, a matte shade. That one's really pigmented. The next shade is Jackpot, a shimmer. gorgeous the next shade is another glitter and it's called indio let me see if i can i picked up enough this time it's just so hard to swatch these glitters without it like i don't know if i'm picking up too much or too little bit look at how pretty that one is gorgeous the next shade is a shimmer called Misty. The next one is a matte called Poodle. Now this is a very like, just like your pink shade, like the one that's like the crayon, the pink, the one pink, pink crayon in the Crayola box. I thought this is, I believe this is like the truest pink I own in my collection. And I loved it. I used it today. The next shade is like, it's like a matte, but again, it has like shimmers throughout it. ColourPop does do a lot of shades like that, I have found. And this one is called Pretty Cruel. It looks like that. As you can see, the base is very matte, but it does have some shimmers there. Then the next shade is Made to Last, and this is just a matte. Matte shade. The next one we have is Mr. Sandman, and it is a shimmer. Go ahead and put that there because it'll look weird on the bottom. And finally, we have too much and two is spelled like t-w-o like the number and this again is another matte with like shimmers throughout it as you can see the base is very matte and then it just has the shimmers there so those are all the shades in the truly Mali deeply palette as you can see they are gorgeous The color story is absolutely beautiful, and those glitters are so pretty, especially that one right there, Indio. I think it's very gorgeous. Now again, this palette does retail for $23 at Ulta, and again, I believe it is exclusive to Ulta, and I'm sorry if it got a little bit darker, but... The sun is going down, but I just wanted to hurry up and film this video so I can have it up for you guys. I'm going to try to post Monday through Friday now, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to stick to that schedule, but I'm not sure if, again, if I'll be able to, but I'm going to try my hardest because I do have um, a preschooler and a son in elementary school so i'm gonna try to keep up with that but yeah so let me know in the comments down below do you have this palette are you thinking about picking it up what do you think about it i think it's actually one of like i said it's definitely one of my favorites that ColourPop has um released and i also picked up the california love palette so this will probably be my next swatch video. Again, I do have some other videos that I need to film and I have still some other palettes that I need to swatch. So this one is definitely probably going to be my next video. And then I'm probably going to do, I'm either going to finish the rest of the swatches of my ColourPop palettes or I'm going to get into my project pan um updates 
and favorites or something like that but definitely the california palette will be next so if you like this video please hit that like button and if you aren't subscribed already then please hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you in my next video bye